I'm Megan, and I'm also here with Megan, who <laughs> is yeah, I know both <laughs> Megan's today, um, who's going to show you a little demo using the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool. I know we've had this on sale before here at Blitzy, and we love it, and we're always trying to come up with new projects using it. And I know you came up with, I think, a very unique project. So what are you going to show us today? Um, three things I'm going to kind of show you and give you some tips on using the Fuse tool. So the first thing I'm going to show you is. Um, the fuse tool, its actual like main purpose is to fuse together photo sleeves to create more pockets to insert more photos and stuff. So I'm going to show you um, just a way of doing that. So what I have here is the photo sleeve and then the fuse tool right here. And then it also comes with this ruler that also has a little groove in there. And that's what you're going to use the fuse tool in. And that's going to be a huge help. So you're not yes. going all over yeah, the place. Yeah, and it'll be nice and even Keeping and straight. Keeping it nice and straight. Mm -hmm. That's what I need. <laughs> so for these two pockets, I cut my photos down already. So then they cut, I put them in half. So I'm going to create a little pocket in here. And I'm going to put some sequins in there Ooh. first. Jazz up your photos a little. Yeah. Kind of put some sparkle in your layouts. And you can add whatever you want to these, right? You can add yeah, sequins, you can, you can add glitter. Like little beads. You can do a lot of different things as long as they're not too bulky. Sure. So, and then I'm going to put some Because I'm looking there. at this, I'm thinking of like, you know, your summer vacations. You can put like maybe your small shells yeah, you or can put some, some sand. sand. Yes. Yeah. So to kind of document those, those vacations that you're taking this summer. Mm -hmm. Or any time of the year, I guess. So I got some in there, and then now I'm going to take my little ruler, get those down in there, okay. and then, oh, come on. <laughs> All the static electricity, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. And now I'm going to make a straight line from corner to corner. And then you're just going to put even pressure as you push down, not too hard, but you also want to put enough pressure so then you're sealing the pocket right. in there. I've used it before where I've gone too hard and I've melted too much and it doesn't seal properly, mm -hmm. or I don't push hard enough and it doesn't seal. So yeah, the tip of even pressure, that's good. So okay. you don't want to go too hard, but you don't want to go too light. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you can see that I created that little sequin pocket. In Perfect. there, and then you can slide in your photo just so like cute. that. And I love that you've done it at an angle there. That's, mm -hmm. so, that's a, kind of a different way of and doing it. You can it. do different sizes and stuff. So that is the first one, and then I cut out another one. But I'm going to show you the top here. So this whole top one is one pocket. So I'm going to actually put this, I'm going to make it into three different sections. So I have these photos right here that I'm going to put in the corners, and then I'm going to seal it. Oh nice, you can just put your picture in and go right next to your picture mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about measuring or anything, which you know I like, <laughs> no one's got time to measure. <laughs> okay. Look at that. There you go, so now Perfect that is packet. in there. And then now, I'm going to put this one in this side. I love that this tool allows you to totally customize your photo sleeve. So depending on, you know, if you want to cut a photo down and make it smaller, you can create a pocket that fits it perfectly. Yeah, and you can use even like a whole 12 by 12 mm -hmm. layout and you can create your own different size pockets. You cool. can add a bunch of little sequin pockets. Okay, so now these two, they're open at the top so you can change out the photos if you want. But this one I'm going to create another sequin pocket, but I'm going to insert this little tiny like Polaroid cam or so picture. So I'm gonna pop that in there, put some sequins. I love that the, the sequins just add a little pop of color. Yeah, it's uh, fun. Yeah. And a little bit of little bit of glitz and glam as well, which you know we all love, right? <laughs> okay, so now that that's in there, and now the bottom is already sealed and then we just sealed the sides. So now I'm gonna go ahead and seal the top so these don't fall out. Perfect. See how, how this tool comes in handy for getting yeah. those straight lines in there? 
it's really helpful. Like I said, I feel like okay. you do it freehand, you can kind of go off, yeah. you know, your center line there. So, so now we got this, and then I cut this one. Do this really fast. <laughs> I like your color selection there. The cream, yeah, the it's green very, blue. very colorful. Yeah. And is this like a silicone? Cutting mat here that yeah, you you're going to want to use some type of mat on the bottom so when you're heating your photo right. sleeve, it's not going to melt anything that you're working on, like your desk or your craft table. <laughs> that would be such a bummer if you got the mat, started using your fuse tool, and realized that you burned your desk. That would not be good. Okay, so now I'm just going to get them all in that corner. Do the same thing that I just did with the other side just to finish off the layout so you can kind of see what it'll look like when it's all come together. Okay. Just like that. So and then easy. put in a little picture. This is me and Zoe, my little dog. <laughs> And this Zoe's is actually been to the office. Yes, this, she's been in the office on National Bring Your Dog to Work Day. Oh, wait, actually, is this her? her this, I yeah, can I use your shelves right there? behind my desk. That's so funny. So now you have your own little Love sequiny that. layout. Love that. So oh, with the fuse tool. And now, so this is kind of what the fuse tool was made to do: was make layouts with this um, and with page protectors and stuff. But now I'm going to show you how to go a step further and kind of make your own little projects. So right here, I made a shaker bookmark. so cute. So you can kind of see the little sequins in there. So and cute. And now it's, it's a so bookmark. Clever. Yes. And I feel like this is perfect too, especially, you know, given the fact that it's a summer, kids are kind of up from school, mm -hmm. maybe reading books, trying to keep, you know, yeah. educated during the summer, right? <laughs> keep and them this, busy. Yeah, this is a great way to kind of, you know, do a project with the kids and mm -hmm. can use it while they're reading their books. And they can customize them too. So cute. And now I'm going to show you how I made that bookmark. So I cut my piece already. So here is the piece. And now I'm taking another um, photo page protector. And I'm going to slip it in there. Okay. So now it's in there. And these sides are already sealed. So I'm just going to make one seal on that side. You're using your ruler again. Yep. And now I'm going to add my sequins. And yeah, you can add little buttons. You could put glitter in here, little beads. So I made my own little color. Collection of collection, pretty yeah. sequins there. Okay, so now I'm going to seal it on the other side. And these would also make a really great gift for your friend that is a big reader. Yeah. If you're always like, what should I get my friend? I don't know. Someone that loves to read, a nice customized bookmark with a little bit of pizzazz mm -hmm. would be a great gift. This could also be a good idea to give your teacher when you go back to school. Oh, yeah. I know parents are always looking for unique ideas for those teachers. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this would definitely be a fun, clever gift to give the teachers this year. Okay, so there is the bookmark all sealed, ready to go. So now I'm just going to trim it. you got to make sure you don't go too yep. close, right? So then you'll cut the seal that you There's just made. Seal. So there's that, and now to add the finishing touches, you're gonna hole punch it and add some ribbon. And the shape of this is actually making me think of um, like the photo strips when you go to like a photo booth. You could also <gasps> incorporate yeah. that into <gasps> That's your bookmark, such a good idea. right? And you can add that into your scrapbook, maybe yeah. add like a little detail into your scrapbook pages. All the okay. ideas are the fuse, <laughs> right? Speaking of which, I know that you have another idea after this one that you're going to show us because yes. the fuse isn't just for your pocket pages, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I added the ribbon, and now I just made a super fun and so easy bookmark. cute! Love this idea. And it's so, it like adds so much detail than just your regular bookmarks. Right, right. Just a plain flat. You got a little, a little texture there, a little <laughs> bit of noise. So. Love that. Very cute idea. Okay, so your third idea is third idea. totally different. It has nothing to do with your photos yeah. or your bookmarks. So this what is this This is one? kind of for your decor for parties. And this okay. one I already actually went ahead and made it. So here is a banner that I made. 
using the fuse tools. So I cut out these little shapes for the banner and then I put them in page protectors and I sealed it and I added some sequins in there and then I added letters. And now I have a super fun banner to hang up so and it's got some pizzazz cute. in there. And did you use the banner punch board to get these perfect I banners? did, yes. Very nice. Yes. I'm like I recognize that <laughs> notch there. Mm -hmm. So she used the We Are Memory Keepers banner punch board to get that yeah. perfect notch in her banner. I love mm -hmm. that. So simple. So and yeah, you can use the fuse tool for anything. You can make any type of project using this. It's not just for your photos. And you can get creative with the fuse tool yeah. and come up with so many different projects. You can incorporate it in your cards. You can make shaker cards with the fuse tool. So many ideas. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing your project ideas. Cool. And thank you for joining us, you guys. Hopefully, you got some great ideas using the Fuse tool, um, and we want to see your ideas, so make sure you share them. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.